Hey guys, Ronald here. In this video, I'll be going over how to set up uh, profiles for your XDMC slash Kodi media center and get started. All right, uh, many of you may have uh, significant others, kids, family members, cousins, brothers, sisters, whatever, and maybe they all want to use uh, Kodi or XDMC and everybody wants different uh, settings. So this is how you would go about setting profiles so that everybody can maintain their own uh, settings on their media center desktop all right so the first thing you need to do if you want to have different logins is have a login screen so you can go ahead and uh, select it then you're going to have the option to go to profiles and here you'll be able to go to master profile and you can go ahead as the master user and change this to whatever you like uh, master master user your name your last name whatever you like uh, just go ahead and add a name or just leave it as master user all right once you've done that exit back out and go to profile picture and if you're using your ipad like i'm doing here uh, you can just go ahead and browse go to home folder go to media dcim and select uh, your photos picture if you're using your computer you can go ahead and uh, use uh, whichever uh, photo folder you have available and select the photos uh, that you want to use for your profile picture all right now once we're done with that we can go ahead and exit out in my case i'm just going to cancel and i'm going to go to lock preferences and while in the lock preferences you can go ahead and master lock you can uh, set a numeric password you can set a gamepad button combo or full text password uh, since this is an ipad the gamepad is not an option because uh, i can't connect the gamepad to this uh, so here we can do full text password and go ahead and add a fancy little password or you can uh, go ahead and do also numeric password and just keep it simple one two three four five six seven eight whatever you like whatever uh, makes you feel more secure for your media center <laughs> uh, security but uh, if you don't want a password you could also just leave it uh, with no password and just have it so that everybody can just select their profile and just log on additionally you could also lock all of these features like lock music window lock videos window lock pictures windows but uh it just seems like a lot more extra work to have to open your files when you want to listen to them so i don't know it's you know everybody has their own way of doing things to me it just seems like just way too much uh locking uh when i want to enjoy my media all right once we're done with that uh you also have the uh ability to add additional profiles so what we're going to do now is uh, go ahead and add a profile and you can pull up a kid significant other uh, cousin's name brother's name mother's name sister's name daughter's name whoever's name and just pretty much go ahead and uh, click done it'll create a folder select it press ok all right then again it just asks you to add the profile name so if you want to edit it you can edit it again uh, profile pro, uh, picture you can add a picture the same way we added the first one profile directory is the one that it created and then again you can do lock preferences and but this will ask for the master lock to be uh, turned on so it will lock the other profile as well all right so i accidentally pressed cancel on create the, the significant other profile so let me just go ahead and recreate that all right now that that's done uh, select okay and we're going to select okay and we're going to start fresh you could also copy the default but let's just start fresh uh, since we're going to have a fresh uh, layout and everything's going to be different on this one next thing i'm going to do is just go ahead and let's go check that the uh, desktops are different on the different profiles so I'm gonna go ahead and set up different profiles uh, so this is the master one I'm gonna exit out I'm gonna restart it Gonna log in 
and as you can see it already defaulted to the touched skin for the new profile and I'm gonna go ahead and log off and make sure that my other skin is still under the confluence skin and there you go uh, that's pretty much all you have to do to set up profiles and when you go ahead and set up different uh, shortcut add-ons and different uh, favorites different uh, playlists it will all be maintained uh, separate it will all be completely different and to each user's liking so that's pretty much all you have to do to set up a profile in Kodi XPMC on your iPad or on your Mac PC iPod iPad whatever device you're using or Android device Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and you can watch these videos next. Till next time.